Hi, today we're going to be talking about testing for hydrogen sulfide, or better known as H2S. You ever get that wine right after fermentation that smells like rotten eggs? Well, what that actually is, is H2S, or uh, hydrogen sulfide. It's a very easy test uh, to do. All you need is a small bottle of copper sulfate, 1%, 100 milliliter beaker, and four or five glasses. <clears throat> now to start the test, what, we, what I do is I mark my glasses uh, with a code. The first one's gonna be the control, and then I use a four digit number on each of the other ones. You can do it however you want. Have your control glass, mark them A, B, C, D if you want. Uh, but record your glasses and how many drops you're gonna put in each one. And that's what we're gonna do right now. So I'm going to measure out 100 milliliters. Oops. 100 milliliters of wine, and I'm going to put it in each glass. And we've got one more glass to do here. You want to make sure you have exactly the same amount in each class so you're doing an accurate test. Now that I have my five glasses filled with 100 milliliters of wine, I'm going to add the copper sulfate, it's 1%. The first glass, I'm going to put one drop in, two in the next one, and then three, and four in the last one. Okay, the drops are all in all the glasses. You want to swirl them around, try to keep the wine in the glass as you swirl it. And uh, to get that copper mixed up in the wine. Now I'm going to smell each one to see um, if I can detect any H2S. The first one is a control. And I absolutely could detect a... Um, um, a rotten egg smell. Uh, it can be described as a couple other things, but there was a, uh, an egg smell there. Next one with one drop, the egg smell has um, pretty much diminished. But I'll check the next one. I get no smell at all in the third glass. And uh, so to verify my readings, uh, I don't tell the other another person what I came, the conclusion that I came to, but I'll ask uh, Lori, our other assistant winemaker, to come in and also smell it and see if she comes to the same conclusion that I do. So Dan has asked me to come over and give my opinion on um, the H2S test he's doing. Definitely we have a problem wine here. Fortunately, it's a relatively easy fix. Here I'm detecting that smell a little less. And actually you're just getting to the fruit without the fault here, but we'll check this one just in case. So at the point where you can smell the fruit and no, no rotten egg smell, you know you have it. If you just, for educational purposes, go on to the next one, you'll notice that the fruit has diminished as well. So you'll know when you've hit the point where you just really don't need to have any more drops of, of the copper sulfate. After Lori and I checked the wines, we both came to the conclusion that the uh, center glass was the one that we used a minimal amount of copper sulfate to, to remove the rotten egg smell but yet to bring the fruitiness out into the wine. You want to uh, check your samples, determine the minimal uh, dose that corrected the problem, and add the same rate to your wine. Uh, remember that about 20 drops of, uh, about 20 drops equal one milliliter, so that will help you to determine exactly how much to put in. Then, after the uh, copper has been in there for a couple of weeks, 
you've removed uh, the smell from your wine. You do want to add betonite to the wine, which will help remove any excess of uh, copper ion ions that are in the wine and uh, drop it out. Once your betonite settles, then you want to remove, wrap your wine off the betonite as soon as possible.